Yeah. Good morning to you. Um, you're so welcome, those who are viewing us as per today. Um, by name of teacher Jeff B. Chitonde Chitja from Top Quality Junior School. Um, I'm here to discuss with you mathematics. And so, uh, mathematics is the simplest subject that you can really do according to me because every step that you take, you will gain a mark. Um, me, for these 11, 12 years I've taught mathematics, I've seen children performing well uh, when I discuss with them the subject. So, sit there, don't get any disturbance, um, make sure that you are very concentrated together, no playing, no what, every step that I do, make sure that you don't miss it. At the end of our discussion, I will also give you some few questions that you will try. And then, after you trying them, you'll send me the answers, not only the answers, but also your working plus the answers on my WhatsApp number that is just down there on your television set. You make sure that uh, you send me the way you've done, worked, worked out the number on my WhatsApp, just there. So, uh, to keep up with time, let's have our question number one. Uh, our question number one, we are going to discuss about distributive property. Distributive property, uh, there are very many questions there, as you may see. Uh, some of them, I'm going to attempt them to give you a guideline on how to do it. Then after, the rest, you'll, uh, you'll do them at your home and then you send me the answers. You send me the working that you've done and then I'll give you a feedback on whether you've got it right or not. We shall remain in touch with you on that very number. So let us work out number one. The question is saying that are uh, use the distributive property to work out the following. Question number one, part A. Question number one, part A, as you're seeing it on your screen there, uh, it is showing that uh, 76 times 53 minus 56 times 53. Now, to use the distributive, dis distributive property, this is what we do. We first of all analyze the two brackets. We look at the two brackets and see which number is found in every bracket. You will find that our 53 is found in the first bracket and also in the second bracket. So it means that that is the common number used in the question. Write it. After writing it, take an observation. This operation used within the bracket, is it in front or behind of 53? It is behind. So we shall put it where? Behind. And so now, the remaining values, we shall put them now in a, bra in a bracket, say equals. So here we shall have 76 plus, here we've taken away the 53, it is here. Now we remain with this. Now, what is our remaining, I, I beg your pardon, we have 76 remaining this way in this bracket. Then the operation joining the two brackets is a subtraction, say minus. Now come to this other bracket. What is remaining is 56. And so we shall go and say 56. From there, by use of your eyes and using the board math method, you'll find that we have to work out the bracket first. So in the bracket, we are required to subtract, go aside, do 76 minus 56. 
6. What is 6 minus 6? We shall get 0. What is 7 minus 5? We shall get 2. Now, it means that within this bracket, we have got there 20. Jump a line. You have to be systematic. Equal signs in the same line. And so now say it is equal to 20. Now bring times 53. Our common value up. Now, this one is requiring us to find a product of 20 and 53. There are, there are very many methods that we can use to find the product of 20 and 53. But the commonest is you doing it like this. Go aside. 53, then say 20 times. Let's multiply. 0 times 3 is equal to 0. 0 times 5 is equal to 0. And then we have to go to multiply also a 2. 2 times 3, we shall get a 6. Then 2 times 5, we shall get 10. Let's add up. This and that is 0. This and 0 and 6, 6. Then here is 0, 1. Therefore, it means that 20 times 3 is equal to our 1060. So that is our final answer. In mathematics, make sure that you are organized. Hope you are seeing that the side work of mine here. And then my working is here. Write a step, jump a line. Write a step, jump a line. Write a step, jump a line. And then, to me, at Top Quality Junior School, I always emphasize children to be neat in such a way. And also, after every question, then you draw their two lines using your ruler, not a free hand. You draw their two lines like this, sure that number has ended like that. That is how we do that number. Now, I'm going to try another number which has decimals. After trying that one, the rest will be your exercise. Let's go to uh, number C of the question. Number C. It says, um, number C, or it says two point five times a hundred plus. 75 times 100. Now, as I told you at the beginning, we always begin with saying equals. Then from there, check and see which is the common value in the two brackets. The common value here, I can see mm, here there is 100. And also here there is a hundred. Therefore, I will write my a hundred. Leaving some space this way. I will write my a hundred. From there, after a hundred, the operation within the brackets, is it behind or in front of a hundred? Is it on its left or on the right? It is on the left. I put the symbol there or the operation and so now it means that i'll now open up a bracket this way in which i will put his remaining values which is now 2.5 2 
Then what is remaining here, joining the two brackets, it is an addition. So plus a hand plus 75. Because in this bracket we took away the 100, so we say plus the 75 that we remain with here. And so let's continue. Ah, so this is equal to. It is always that we begin with the bracket. Remember that after this step, you jump a line, you go then and begin to do the next step. So, are in the next step, I'm required to add 2.5 plus 75. And so, I'll go aside, draw a line using my ruler on my book, meaning on my paper. I go at the extreme ends and then draw there that line so that I can do the side work, which is now 75. I'm going to add on 2.5. In most cases, children do fail to add decimal numbers and whole numbers. Now, this is a whole number. Every time we write a whole number, we put a full stop. Take it to be a dot. It means that even if I add very many zeros this way, it will remain 75. Yes? So let me, for example, put one zero there. I'm putting it so that this number looks uniform to this one. Now, come. Arrange your digits depending on the place values. I always tell my children of top quality junior school gangu that what you do beginning with the day small. After beginning with it, ask yourself that after the decimal on this number 2.5, what is on my left? I'm seeing there a number 2. Then, what is on, is there any other digit this way? No. So we got the next. What is on my right of the decimal point that I've begun with? It is a, fa a 5. So I will write it. Uh, what, I, what I was I doing? I was adding. Let's add together. 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. Don't skip or don't forget your point. Put it there. 5 plus 2, it is equal to 7. And then 7 plus nothing is equal to 7. So we've got 77.5. From the bracket. So we have 77.5 now times 100. Jump a line. Go to the next step. This one, to be multiplied by this one, it is very simple. If you use the method of changing it to a fraction, and so it will be 7, 7, remove the point, say now 5, out of. What is the place value of our last digit after that point? It is 25th. It is 25th. So it tells us that we say out of 10 because it is 25th. If it was, we had another digit here, maybe a 1, I could now use that last one. This one will be 10, 50, this one will be 100. So I could put here a uh -huh, 100. If maybe there were three digits, for example, I have 1.345. To change this one to a decimal, I will have 1, 3, 4, 5 out of. The last place value gives us what to put here as the denominator. The denominator. And so this is 10, 50, 100, 1,000. So I could say out of a 1,000. So that's where I've got this one from. So I will say now times a hundred. After there, it has become very simple. Let us reduce. The zeros will be reduced accordingly and so we shall easily get the number. Reduce a zero with a zero. It means that I'm now remaining with 775 times 10. As a candidate of P7, automatically that one you know. Get this number multiplied by this. And so 
when you go there to multiply, you'll get 775. 775 times the 1 is equal to this one. And so then you add on the last the zero on the number, you now get that one as your final answer. After there, you use the ruler, you put the line down. You must use the ruler, not a free hand like I've done for today. But another time, we shall have a ruler and I will be putting for it so that uh, you do it the needful way. Even when you're sending me your working, after trying some numbers, make sure that you show that you have your side work and you show that you have, uh, uh, you've used the ruler, not a free hand. I don't want that work. So that is distributive property. Uh, the remaining questions, you will try them and then send me your uh, working and I'll tell you whether you've been right or wrong. Please send your uh, responses as in how you've tried the numbers on my WhatsApp number. It is there down. It is 0753-398438. Uh, I'll let you know whether you've been right or wrong. You are free to interact with me in time and minute. So those remaining numbers, you'll try them in case our uh, you get time after. Let's go to now number two. Number two. Our number two is saying that the lowest common multiple of two numbers is 120 and their common and their greatest common factor is 6. If one of the numbers is 30, find a second number. It's what we do. For you to find second number, The second number is equal to LCM, all the letters must balance together, multiplied by the GCF of the numbers out of the given number. We repeat or we, resp um, we, we set together the, 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 the method to get a second number. In the questions where you've been given the LCM and the greatest common factor, then one of the numbers, and now they want you to find the other number that has been used together with that one that has been given to you to find the LCM given to you and the GCF given to you. It is LCM times GCF out of the given number. Let's now substitute. From our question, they are saying that the LCM, or the lowest common multiple of two numbers, is 120. And so we shall say equals. Jump a line, put equal signs in the same line. And so from the question, LCM is 120. Times, let's look for the greatest common factor. The question there is showing that, and their greatest common factor is 6. And so, divided by, let's find the given number, or one of the numbers that they have given to you. The question, if you read again, it will show that the lowest common multiple of two numbers is 120. And their greatest common factor is 6. If one of the numbers is 30, so one of the numbers is 30. Now find the second number. 
So we've got the information given to us from the question. Now we've substituted into our formula. Let's work out the number. Say equals. Having jumped a line so that your worker is neat. Don't reduce from the first step. In most cases, are, you may reduce from the first step and you reduce wrongly. You will miss marks. At least even if you fail the question at the end, but here you've set the formula and substituted correctly, you'll get at least a mark for the method. So, I advise you not to reduce from the first step. Rewrite this same working here so that you may reduce at that step. And so it will be 120 times 6 out of or divided by 30. Yeah, I can reduce my 0 with a 0. I can reduce now a 3 by 3 is 1. 12 by 3 is 4. What am I remaining with? I'm remaining with 4 times or multiplied by 6 divided by 1. And so, you go and complete. What is the 4 times 6? Some children do not know how to multiply. Now what you have to do, you make sure that you draw a side what we call a multiplication table. And so here it is. Mine is here. Say, uh, 4 times are 1, 4 times 2, 4 times 3, 4 times 4, 4 times 5, 4 times 6, equals, 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 equals. The first number here will be that very number whose multiplication table we have drawn. So it will be 4. For you to get the next one, I know you may not know what is 4 times 2. Add a 4 on the first answer you've got. So when you count 4, let's get, get your fingers, get your fingers and we count together. So, our we have 4 here. We are going to add on 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we shall write the other 8. On this very 8, add on 4. Because we are drawing a matriculation table for 4. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And so we have there 12. On the last answer, add on again 4 